Bible 5 on this. Monday, November 11th, 2013. Time and a half for the weather magician PJ Williams. The evening report. Monday, November 11th, 2013. Good evening, everybody. Current conditions at 5.05 p.m. in North Massachusetts. 49 degrees. The temperature overcast skies with a humidity of 52%. Wind speed south about 9 miles per barometer, 30 inches. 2.32 degrees and a visibility 10 miles and a wind chill 45 degrees. All right, let's take a look at our. Either way, Bulger is expected to appeal his 11 murder and 31 racketeering convictions. Take a look at our. Radar scope shows best the line of rain shots in eastern Nova Scotia and blobs of rain and snow shots in eastern New Brunswick and Northern, Northern Quebec. Here. And a batch of snow and rain and rain shots in eastern Prince Edward Island. Batches of snow showers in western Prince Edward Island. But this is where we get in the snow for the mouth, the meat and potatoes of the storm, and a lot of snow storms, so shots from Nova UP, Michigan, over Michigan, down for Ontario and Quebec, and stretching down for Quebec, down for Ontario, down for Western New York, and for Pennsylvania, down for Ohio, down for Indiana, down for Southern Michigan, down for Illinois, down for Southern Iowa, and Missouri, down for Eastern Nebraska. A lot of snow showers in southwestern South Dakota and back to the snow showers in northern William and down for southern Montana and a line of rain showers in off the California coastline, northwestern California coastline and a line of rain showers off the Oregon and Washington coastline and stretch down in central. Victor Island and British Columbia. Now, batch of sleet and snow pelts in the British Columbia mountains. Batch of snow showers near Saskatoon, Canada. Hunter and Norton. Good evening, everybody. 50 degrees. And Naperville, Illinois, near Chicago. Light snow, 32 degrees. Okay, let us take a look at our satellite loop. Shows. A couple of batches of landing clouds from northern New England and northern Canada and stretching through New England down for upstate New York through the Great Lakes and stretch down in the northern Mississippi Valley of Iowa down Minnesota stretching through Nebraska and down through Montana, Idaho and Washington stretching down through and a pair of broken clouds from California stretch down to Oregon and down in the Washington and back to the clouds off the Pacific Coast from California up to Washington and British Columbia. Okay. Traffic was like on three is dissipated here. And tropical storm Haiyan is now in southern China with winds up to 50 to 65 miles an hour, drop to 35 to 45 miles by the next two hours. Here, okay, let's take a look at our map situation. And it shows a high pressure center in southeastern British Columbia, northern North Dakota, eastern North Carolina, and southwestern Colorado. That's stationary front from northern Alberta, switching into Montana, and then cool front from Montana down for Wyoming, down for Colorado, down for Texas, down for Oklahoma, and then Missouri, then Illinois, and then in Indiana, Michigan, and up in Ontario, and a pink front in Ontario, and a warm front in Quebec, and a stationary front in Mexico, and then a cool front from Western Gulf of Mexico, switching to Florida, and off the Carolina coastline, and another stationary front from Tip of Mexico, in the eastern Tip of Mexico, down for Cuba, and in the Bahamas. Okay, let's take a look at the 7 8 forecast. It goes like this. For tonight, showers mainly after 4 a.m., lower around 29 degrees. Stuff with about 10 miles per hour. We cast as high as 22 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 8%. New precipitation amounts up between the 10 and quarter inch possible. Tuesday, snow showers mainly before 10 a.m. Steady temperature around 33 degrees. No points with about 9 to 13 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 8%. New snow amount. So accumulation around an inch possible. Let's take a look at the map there. <laughs> Zero to one inch is possible from western and Massachusetts and Connecticut. Stretching down and in the Boston and Point North and section of Southwestern New Hampshire and stretching to Norfolk County. And down to the northern Plymouth Bristol and western Bristol counties and down to seven Bristol counties and the Cape Cod. I Few spots may reach a one to two inch mark in central Worcester County, around Worcester, and in eastern Connecticut down for Western Rhode Island, and down for Northwestern Rhode Island, stretching out to Norfolk County, from North Alba Plainville, and stretching out to Sheridan Stoughton, and another one to two inches are possible from Taunton, and stretching Bridgewater, and down for near Brockton, and down into Middlebury, and down into the Lakeville, and stretching it on into near Plymouth. No inches of snow predicted for the Nantucket and Eastern and Outer Cape in the Islands. Okay, after the snow and rain come through, be ready for a cold snap for the next two days. Tuesday night, most of the coast guard alone 21 degrees. North points went about 6.5 miles per hour. Wednesday's high may not touch 
the four O mark. Yes, it'll be six guys are high. Only 39 degrees. Northwest wind about 7 to 10 miles per hour. Wednesday night, most coast skies with lower than 25 degrees. Southwest wind about 7 to miles per hour. Thursday, a little warmer. Sunny skies high under 50 degrees. Thursday night, most coast skies with a lower than 31 degrees. Friday, up the temperature line a bit to 57 degrees with most of the same skies on Friday. And Friday night, most of the coast skies low than 37 degrees. Saturday, stays in the 50s. Part of the same skies high under 54 degrees. Saturday night, part of the skies low than 36 degrees. Sunday, part of the same skies high under 54 degrees. And Sunday night, change of showers, most of the coast skies low than 40 degrees. Trends precipitation is 30%. And for Monday, change of showers, most of the coast skies high under 55 degrees. Trends precipitation is 50 to 30%. Peter's what a phrase of the day. The first touch of snow starts tomorrow. That's the page Jay Wednesday. We have a good evening with a good positive. And we'll read the special whatever statement before I sign off. Still 11 o'clock. A strong Arctic front will quickly move across Southern New England early Tuesday morning. Beyond this front, expect rain showers to quickly transition into snow showers during the falling temperatures. This transition will occur during the morning commute. Between 5 a.m. and 9 a.m., the development of snow squalls is a possibility which may result in inches of snow in a short time. This may cause some slippery travel along the poor visibly during the Tuesday morning commute. This is PJ Winsor. We have a good day with a good positive attitude. And good evening, and I'll see you at 11. Good night. Have a good evening.